So this morning at breakfast I already told you a bit about my new collection. <laughs> Well, actually it's not new. I've been collecting placemats for a long time. I used to collect uh, McDonald's placemats. So I have some, uh, I think 20 years ago I collected those. And whenever I see a Hello Kitty placemat, I just need to buy it. And I bought a Cheshire placemat in Disneyland. So uh, I kind of really like the things, I think. So yesterday I thought I would really like to collect something that you use regularly. Oh, said it right and um, uh, but it doesn't take up that much room and it isn't that expensive and you can find it everywhere maybe as a souvenir or something and I've been looking for something like that for a few years now actually and suddenly I thought you know what placemats I don't know why I thought about that yesterday oh I knew there was a solo that's a uh, name of a store in Tilburg uh, that's low priced well not really but it's not that expensive and I thought uh, last time when I was there I bought Charmy Kitty placemats and they were so cute and I thought I hope they have Charmy Kitty placemats again and I thought wait placemats and so at breakfast you saw this well I also saw this there was a placemat so that was a sign guys I just thought I'm gonna do it so at Solo they had this one and there are thousands and thousands of uh, Disney princesses placemats but I just thought this one was really nice she looks really sassy with that slipper <laughs> I just like the way they look and uh, they had five more but I don't need everything this one I really liked and this one as well let me just pick it up because it's Cinderella and Belle just sitting chilling and reading and I just thought it was cute it's lenticular a bit has depth in it and tan 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 they had a charming kitty placemat and another, and another, and another, and another, and another. They had six of them. Oh, I was so happy. I love Charmy Kitty. I think even better than Hello Kitty. Look at her. She's just so cute. She's more of a kitty. So if you don't know, she is Hello Kitty's pet. <laughs> and she wears the key to the diary of Hello Kitty around her neck. And she's just so cute. She looks more like a real kitty. So... I think that's so funny. The person who thought of that, Hello Kitty has a pet and that's a kitty. <laughs> this is so funny. So uh, apparently I officially collect placemats now. And yes, I'm decluttering. You know why? Because then I have room for my placemats. But this doesn't take up that much room. Look at this. Let's just stack it together. Like that. That's nothing. So I have a box I can keep these in and it'll be a while for, before I fill that box because it's this high. So a stack like that. Oh, yeah. So I think this is a really nice. It's not expensive. You can find it everywhere. It's also a souvenir and it doesn't take up that much room. Yes. Very happy. <laughs> so I think lots of you are thinking that's not normal. She's a bit weird. And yes, I am a bit weird and I don't really care. I just love collecting and this is a really nice collection. So you might see some more of that in the future. I hope wherever we go for dinner or for snacks for something or a hotel that they have placemats because now I really want them all. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just uh, relax for a bit and then um, going to McDonald's. Ooh, they have placemats there. <laughs> I see a windmill. You see it too. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> and I see a huge watering can. I'm seeing things. <laughs> oh, we just had a lovely dinner, and now we're on our way back to the hotel. And now you can see the mill, the windmill from this side. That's yellow. Um, oh, ah, and that was it again. <laughs> no giant watering cans or stuff. So guys, we just went to McDonald's and there's another placemat. Now this is not really a special one, although maybe in 10 years you think, oh, that's a nice one. But it's uh, as a souvenir of our trip. So I'm going to write the date somewhere on the back. So I know there are a lot of these paper placemats. I've been searching the internet and there are a lot of cute vintage placemats. I'm not sure if we have them in the Netherlands, but uh, I'm gonna look for them. 
uh, there are vintage Christmas ones and, and Easter ones and just cute ones and oh they're so cute so uh, yeah if you have any laying around just mail me <laughs> uh, but yeah I, I'm very happy with this new collection let me know in the comments down below how strange I am uh, what do you think about this uh, collection I love it there's our room over there and when we look out of our window we see this path and we just want to know where it leads so we're gonna go for an evening walk what time is it almost nine o'clock no it's about uh, half past eight half past eight i hear singing <laughs> that must be forest elves <laughs> well it ends at a road and behind the road there's a lake but you can't get there so we're going back Oh, there's so much many mosquitoes over here and they really like me yeah, they really like me too they like you too well that's new usually they like me so everyone stays close to me because I'm buzzing I'm around my ears and unfortunately <laughs> I've got, got very large <laughs> ears <laughs> oh boy <laughs> Auw, er zit wel te... Auw, kom op. Nou, dit is te gek, Jan. Oké, okay, I was trying to film, but uh, I've been eating a lot of by those little... Those sorts of mosquitoes. <laughs> but I just want to show you how beautiful this side of the lake is. <laughs> and every time I stand still, while sitting on my hand or on my head or on Johnny's ears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and walk a little bit. If the little bastards keep eating me and I'm <laughs> I've lost too, mu too much blood that I can't walk anymore. <laughs> then I'll go back. But look at how pretty the cloud is. And there's something in the water. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty. There's a goose coming our way. Probably to scare us off. Well you don't need to, that's the mosquito's job. <laughs> it is pretty though. Well, now what? <laughs> you want to chase us away? <laughs> well, okay, we're going. Uh oh, it's coming on land. We're not allowed to go any further. <laughs> and there he goes again. See, we don't form a threat. He's following us. Or making sure we're leaving. <laughs> Rank. something I said <laughs> well we'll just go back to the hotel then chased away by a goose and a lot of mosquitoes <laughs> still it was a short walk but it was pretty look we're back at Disneyland there are lights in the tree <laughs> oh let's look at the pretty lights I love when they do that. It's not natural, of course, but it looks gorgeous. Good morning. It's the last day of our stay in Oysterwijk and uh, we're going to have breakfast. And there's another way to eat Hagelslag. I'll show you. So guys, this is what I mean. This is beschuit. No idea how to call that in English. Beschuit. This is all white. Yes. And Hagelslag. So of course you need hagelslag. So the fruit one. And I'm only gonna take that one. I'm not gonna take the milk. Because I just need a little bit. This is very small. Okay. Beschuit. Real beschuit, it says. Echte beschuit. Beschuit, hagelslag and a bit of butter. And this is how you eat a beschuitje hagelslag. So I stole some of Jan his pure hagelslag. Hagelslag. 
because I just like that. Normally people just take or chocolates or the fruit one. I'm a bit different, I like both. So I'm going to enjoy this. Guys, this is so delicious. If you're ever in the Netherlands, try it. So it's uh, half past nine and... <laughs> Mosquito. We have to be back at the hotel at uh, half past ten, so we got an hour for a little walk, and it's a long drive to the hotel. It's at least forty seconds. At least forty seconds. So we're going over there, and it looks gorgeous. Look how pretty. And then there's a helicopter and a car. It's so peaceful. <laughs> Here we are at another lake. It's called a ven in Dutch. It's not really a lake, it's a ven. I don't know the difference. Have to look that up. But can you hear the frogs? Why are they always silent when I say that? gorgeous so here's the other lake and look at those pretty yellow flowers this is the bigger fen and it's just amazing So guys, it's just a small walk, but uh, we're just sitting here in the shade, resting on a little bench. <laughs> and we've got a wonderful view, I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, it's so hot, it's so... I would say that... Moist, my glasses are steaming up every time. Uh, the... Humidity? Hu yeah, it's, the humidity is uh, 200%, I think. <laughs> but it's so beautiful, it's worth it. He hasn't any trouble with it. He has his jacket on and I... <laughs> oh, but check this out. I could sit here for hours. Wow. I'm sure if you can see the dragonflies, but there are a lot over there. <laughs> this must be so pretty when the water li lilies are all open. Well, they're almost all open. Wow. I love the fact that you don't hear a car, you don't hear a helicopter or a plane. Well, now you do. <laughs> you just hear me. And the birds and frogs. And some machine. <laughs> oh, I'm filming. We're making a selfie, but I'm pushing <laughs> the wrong button. Sorry. Boy, it's also beautiful. We keep stopping every 10 steps and taking a picture and filming a bit, but guys, look at it. Wow. So guys, that was it for this little vacation, just two nights away together and, ah, oh, that's so wonderful. We're gonna do that more often now that my husband is retired and I love it. So now we were in Oysterwijk, Oysterwijk, Oysterwijk? Oysterwijk. And uh, we're definitely gonna come back here. Those lakes are so beautiful and this hotel is so wonderful. So yeah, we're gonna write it down from now on. What are the plus and the minus sides of the hotel and the surroundings. So we can come back if you want to. Hope you enjoyed this video of our little trip. If you did, you know, we would love a thumbs, a thumbs up. I'm a bit tired of the walk. A thumbs up and a nice comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, all that's left to say now is greetings from Holland. Greetings from Holland. Bye. And you have your open ergens. For in. Okay, guys, that's how we travel. Two crates and bags. And uh, <laughs> a wheelchair. <laughs> Uh, that's a lot better than when the kids are with us, because then it's just a puzzle. But did you see my beautiful, beautiful, let's tilt you a bit, <laughs> hello kitty, travel bag, I'll just put it down. I always take it with me, I just think it's so gorgeous. <laughs> so let's go home. 
No, oh, wait. Uh, we're going home the touristic route. <laughs> we're gonna find um, a pancake house, a Dutch pancake house. And then we're gonna have lunch and then we're gonna go home. So this is really hard to find on our navigation system. <laughs> we're over here and we just want to go over here. But all the little names of the little places aren't on my navigation. So now we're going to Biesenmortel, never heard of it. And then we're going to Helvoort and then Distelbenner. And there we're gonna eat pancakes. So, here we go. <laughs> Biesenmortel, they just said Biesenmortel. Right, that's just a weird word for me too, guys. <laughs> That was a Dutch train, isn't it nice? <laughs> I have to wait until the red lights are off because there might be another train. But there isn't. So let's continue our journey. It's so pretty over here. Guys, I miss this. I lived, I used to, I was born in this province and I love it. I kind of miss it. We went from here to here, somewhere over here. And we have to be over here somewhere. So yeah, we made it, I hope. Look, there's other means of transportation. wrong turn uh, and there's a car coming maybe over here you can stop <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. these are just fun roads <laughs> Parking spot. <laughs> yes, we made it. <laughs> reading a map, hardly any navigation. Well, at the end we used a lot of navigation, but we were reading the maps like all times. Pancakes. So we're here for pancakes, but they have homemade apple pie with whipped cream. So we thought we, you know, have a little appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny has hot chocolate with whipped cream and his pie is already gone almost. So I'm gonna dig in and then we're gonna eat pancakes. That looks nice. Cute little box of tea. <laughs> so I've got a cookie and apple pie. Life is good. <laughs> Do you like it? It's lovely. Look how great Delicious. it looks over here guys. Look at that. That's an old fireplace. A schouw in Dutch. So nice. So what do you think? You still have room for a pancake? Yeah, I always have room <laughs> for a pancake. Uh, I wouldn't have thought, but uh, yeah, I still want some poffertjes. I'm gonna eat poffertjes, which are kind of little pancakes. <laughs> if you saw my 
King's Day video, they make puffages over there. So guys, I have small pancakes and a an, 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 no, small portion. And Johnny has yes, got a ridiculous pancake, but it looks delicious. It's got apple on it and cinnamon and lots of powdered sugar. <laughs> I guess I need it. You need it, yeah, you need to grow. You still need to grow. <sighs> I'll just have this. <laughs> but guys, this looks, this is so delicious. Guys, this was really it. I know I ended this video maybe twice, but uh, we kept doing nice stuff. I'm filled with pancakes and poffertjes. It was so delicious. And apple pie. And uh, well, we're gonna get into the car and drive back home to North Holland, where we live. And uh, it was wonderful. I really enjoy outings like this and I hope we can do lots more and then I'm gonna take you along with me. So now all that's left to say is, groetjes from North Brabant. Greetings from Holland. Bye.